In an increasingly asymmetrical world, what are the key megatrends that will drive the future to 2020? Imagine a life wherein you have 80 billion connected devices, where you have personal robots doing your chores at home, where your connected space within the home, at work, within the car is completely seamless, wherein your shopping and digital experiences would be integrated. Imagine that in the future, wherein not only your home is connected, but your car and your office and your city. Kivicon was a solution launched last year by Deutsche Telekom. It's very progressive in terms of a connected living solution. In the home environment, it seeks to connect all devices. So not only we're seeing things like smart TVs and, and smart thermostats, as we call them single purpose solutions. Kivicon is a black box that connects all appliances. This completely digital and integrated experience of the future would also affect the retail industry. This leads to what we call the bricks and the click strategy. Digital experiences would not only be integrated into the brick and motor showrooms, but also beyond the pre online marketing channels that we see, right from pre-purchase, during purchase, and even after sale of the product or the service. The key megatrends over the last couple of years have included very exciting analyses of new business models. Business models that can disrupt, even collapse, but also transform companies and industries. One of the key megatrends of the future is what we call value for many. Not value for money, but value for many. What it does is allows you to sell the product from day one to the five billion people on this planet who are connected on the internet or to the four billion people who fall under the middle class. Every part of how people move around generates data. And when you can put the, all that data together, that's when you get new solutions that can make cities that are now more congested, perhaps a little bit less so in the future, and help people move around more efficiently. The elimination of the need to be physically there, the ability to actually electrify or app-wise deliver the car into the person, the ability to eliminate the need for uh, molecules in order to go from one place to another, simply going on electrons, and the ability to extract the driver out of the equation and deliver an autonomous car actually changes the economics of delivering mobility from point A to point B. And the, the disruptive power of that is significant. It changes both the issues of car ownership, but also the issues around uh, energy, fossil fuel, uh, even public transport and the planning for cities. So a smart city in the future is that city that has five of the eight parameters. These eight parameters are smart energy, smart healthcare, smart mobility, smart technology, smart buildings, smart infrastructure, smart governance, and also smart citizens. The mega, mega trend of them all is health, wellness, and well-being. Many people who analyze Kondraty cycles are saying this is the next greatest trend, and it is the greatest challenge facing humanity. Innovating to zero is not so much a mega trend, but what we call a mega vision. It means we strive ourselves to achieve vision zero strategy. For example, Nissan is developing zero emission cars or Copenhagen wants to be the first carbon neutral capital of the world. Now we are setting ambitions as corporates and as governments. We might not achieve that goal in our lifetime, but the fact that we even get to 50% of it means we made a huge impact to our society. Are you ready for this future?